And hello to all friends, Potato is with you. This is the fourth part of the Extra Bot Fashion Guide, not for version 1.16.5, but before you start watching, be sure to subscribe to me and click on the bell so as not to miss new videos. But we're getting started. Then we turn to the consideration of various accessories and other items in fashion, or rather the addition of Extra Botany. The first thing we'll look at is gilded mashed potatoes and also this kind of patty chips. Gilded mashed potatoes are made from a bowl, gilded potatoes and also sugar. Gilded potatoes are made on the runic altar with the help of four potatoes, a gold ingot and also a small amount of mana. Let's take this gilded mashed potato and try to eat it. What will be superimposed on us? We are superimposed with absorption to for 30 seconds, slowness for for 30 seconds and resistance for for 30 seconds. In other words, we are literally becoming such a juggernaut, impenetrable, but rather slow. Yes, after all, the slowness of 4 has a pretty good effect on this. But now we have resistance and absorption, which makes us quite powerful. In general, this is all the properties of this mashed potato. It's not like a meal, let's say, but rather an addition, like a potion. Then there's potato chips. It is made quite difficult with the help of gilded potatoes, masks, mini potatoes, mini potatoes themselves, mana runes, three totems of immortality, a bonfire, and also a melting furnace. And you will need as much as half a pool of mana. All this is done on the runic altar. Let's take this potato chip and we put it in the slot head that is here. Superimposed is such an interesting mask in the form of potatoes. A potato with a potato mask and gold. Pretty cool, ha. Huh? Such an aristocrat. And what is it? This potato mask will work the same way as this pace of immortality, but only with a recharge and it will never disappear. Let's try to test it now. Namely, I'm going to prescribe a game mod zero. I've been tearing everything down, I'm falling down, and we're looking carefully. Everything was fatal damage, but it is superimposed on us, and absorption is too, fire resistance and regeneration as well. And now you can see that I have completely tripped up, and our mask is recharging, and quite quickly. Here's a look at literally how this effect lasts. This mask is recharging. By the way, she also spends mana. Well, in short, you can see that she has fully recovered, and we can die again. Next, let's look at these stones. There is an air stone, an earth stone, a water stone, a fire stone, and also a community. This is a stone that combines all the effects of the previous stones. The air stone is made of two air runes moan diamond, lapis lazuli, and also nether quartz. The earth stone is made of two runes of the earth, nether quartz, lapis lazuli, also moan diamond. The water stone is made of two water runes, oddly enough, nether quartz, lapis lazuli, and also moan diamond. And finally, the fire stone is made of two runes of fire, quartz, lapis lazuli, and also moan diamond. And the coolest stone of the community is made of chaos. Air stones, earth stones, water stones, and oddly enough, fire stones. All this is done on the runic altar with a small amount of mana. Let's take them all and test them. We have them as accessories, and the first stone is the air. Gives us a speed of 15% plus 15% and a flight speed of plus 15%. In other words, you and I will just move faster and fly a little faster, literally as with the help of air. In other words, we have straddled the air and are moving faster. The next stone is the earth stone. He will give us plus for additional armor, but no speed, no slowness either, just plus for additional armor. Then the water stone will leave. It would seem that he does not give anything. In fact, he will give us a discount on the use of mana. Let's say, if you use a staff without this stone and with this stone, then with this stone you will spend noticeably less. The penultimate stone, the Stone of Lights, will give there, plus 10% damage. In fact, this is quite significant if you have a good sword, like this Queen Fractal here. 15 damage plus 10% is plus 1 and 5 damage, which is pretty good. And finally, the last coolest stone. It's called a community. Here, we have no debuffs superimposed, but absolutely all the effects are added up. That is, it's plus 15 speed, plus 10 damage, plus 4 armor, plus 15 flight speed, and finally, plus a discount for mana. In general, even percentages have not become less, and everything is in one stone. I think it should always be carried with you. The next accessory is called the Amulet of Peace. It is made of the four lives of wood, and also the life of stone. What kind of molet is this? First of all, we have the same as an accessory. I'll take some weapons, and also cows, peaceful mobs. Because this accessory, if we put it on ourselves, will allow us not to cause magical damage to any peaceful creatures. That is, Let's sleep with you cows and shoot the first fractal. This is the way such swords fly, which should cause damage at all, but they do not cause anything because we have an amulet of peace on us. That is, we will not beat peaceful mobs with a magical attack. If we take it off like this, then of course everything will die here. But if now we put it on like this and hit them with physical damage, that is, we approach them, 
We hit them like this. And then of course the cow will also do. But let's say if you are fighting with some guy, your company with peaceful mobs is located near this guy, then you can wear this amulet, so as not to kill them with magic damage. Then, there is a rather interesting glove. A power glove, like a power glove, or something like that, goes the same way as an accessory, and will give them plus 12 to the attack speed. 12%. But that's not all. After all, let me put on this glove now. Unfortunately, it does not display in any way, but first of all, we will beat 12% faster, and what's cool, look, I just clamp the paintwork, and start bludgeoning, but bludgeoning is not like shouting like this, that is, we do not have full attacks. Let me take a sword now, even slower, let's say I take a wooden sword, and look, we are attacking when we can completely inflict normal damage. That is as before, we shouted at the versions let's say 1710. Here you can make this glove, put it on yourself, and you will have the maximum damage inflicted with a sword, and as quickly as possible, that is, automatically. That's even cooler to work with such fast swords as the Fractal Queen, or else which is faster. Here, it will be quite difficult for you to click quickly, so as to deal as much damage as possible, and as much as possible. And you can just make this glove, put it on yourself like this and clamp the paintwork. And so, I think you can see that this slider is fully recharged with us. Next, let's look at three rings at once. This is Frost Star, and the Ring of Death is also a mana drive ring. Frost Star is made of two ice, two ingots of monastal, and also a mana rune. The Ring of Death is made from the Rune of Envy, two ingots of monastali man diamonds, also the skull of a skeleton visor. And finally, the last ring of mana drive rinks is made from a mana ring and also a sin rune. We take these rings, let's look at them in turn. The first one is the frostar ring. First of all, this ring will freeze our water. Let's go over here now, and here, you can see that the water is completely frozen. It will also work with lava sources. And I also want to tell you that if you meet some creeper, let's say, or any other both and look at him. Then slowness will be imposed on him. Can you see any effect on it? This is the effect of slowness, that is, our creeper now moves much worse. It's like we froze him. In general, these are all the properties of this ring. The next ring is the ring of death. This ring will already be more interesting. Let's put it on ourselves as well and just look at the creeper. Desiccation is superimposed on it and we will house it. By the way, for some reason, there is also a skeleton somewhere underground. Well, where is he there? No wait, it's probably such a sound. Apparently yes, this is such a skeleton visor sound. But in general, now we will just burn out everything and everything with our vision. And finally, the last ring. This is a mana drive ring. This ring will work with us with, say, a mana tablet that you have in your inventory, and it must also be charged. And you must go through some functional flowers. Let's say let's take some flower by the way. Let's say the ringing is wrong. Look up, I put it here and we have mana in it. And in what way? It's because we're wearing this ring. It literally connects with this functioning flower and transfers mana from our mana tablet into this ring. In other words, we can just go somewhere and power up all these flowers, which seems to me quite convenient. The next accessory is called a Zenway feather. It is made of four red quartz, two runes of fire, two fingers, and also a feather. We take it and we also take creepers. Let's put it on ourselves and sleep like a creeper. Now we can use our bare hands to shoot fireballs. So I just lean on him and poke the paint. Flying like this is a fireball that deals him as much as six damage. We can also bludgeon him up close and nothing like that will be applied. Now it will be effective for you to hit it from afar. By the way, this does not work with swords, only with a bare hand. Now you can become this kind of fire lord and literally kill creepers with three or four blows. I think it's fun. Next, consider a walking stick. It is made of two branches of the life of a tree, two lives of stones, and also a gold ingot. We take it and just take it in our hand. Plus 30% of the speed is superimposed on us. By the way, it seems to me that it will also dock with a stone. I haven't checked it, so we take this kind of community, impose it on ourselves, and yes, the speed is being attacked. We are doing everything faster and faster. Think about it, if you still drink some speed potion, some more armor there, I don't know, put it on there at speed, and in general. It seems to me it will be very cool. You can literally double your speed, or maybe even triple it. Then, there is a very interesting thing, called the keys to the space station. We also have another variation, the mount variation. As you can guess, these keys will create a special space card for us. If we press the PCM on the ground, we get a flying saucer like this. We can poke a PCM at it and fly in general. We press the space bar, fly up, control, down, forward, backward, in general, we can move. And that's how we will fly quite slowly. But actually, which is very cool, this thing can be used somewhere in construction, because if you click on the shift, then you will. So I flew off a little. In general, you will be standing on this thing,
But look at these projections here, they are intangible. Only you can stand here, and let's say, build something, and the Cosmotochka itself will not move at all, and will stand as a block. Then you will transfer to it, and fly where you need to. Also, you can repaint this thing into a mount, using a workbench, or just any creation. Here you make a mount, then go to your accessories, put it in this way, and click on R. Then you have a Cosmotochka appears. Click on the shaft, it disappears and is taken back to your head. Then there are just incredibly interesting things. They are compatible with us only together, that is, they do not work separately at all, and do not make sense. First of all, we have such a gem about conquest and cavation or something like that. We don't do these things at all. Here, even we do not show crafting, but here only enchantment. Let's take these two pieces, and also creepers. And you will need to put this gem on yourself, this slot with an amulet, and look at some kind of game appears behind us. What is it? Some two katanas, some kind of rune on the back or what is it? And also a strip that has just filled up completely. And this thing needs to be used with a sword. That is, you take this sword in your hands, and see how, first of all, it looks very cool. By the way, I need to put on some more armor for myself. This white space one, this one. The defender's arrow. It seems to me, that it will be very cool in general. By the way, it's not written about these things anywhere in the books, but I literally just saw this effect. The fact, that you can click on the shift and the PCM, and then you will very slowly descend, and also create some lights. And as you can see, we are rebooting our sword. Let's check it out now, because I just saw it. I wanted to show you another thing. Well, let's press it. And yes, look, here they are literally all gathered at one point, like in a black hole, and damage is inflicted on them. By the way, this sword itself can also deal 10 damage, and has a speed of 2 and 4, which is pretty good. And that's what I wanted to show you. We have such a function. We press the PCM cipher, then we take off together with the creeper, and can literally house it. And by the way, quite beautiful runes also appear. Let's take another look at this. Here are some runes literally that finish it all off. Most likely these are not runes, but like you know, so it's displayed in the air how these rear katanas beat here. In general, this is an incomprehensible thing. It does not craft in any way. I don't understand where to get it. If you know any other functions where to get it at all, then be sure to write in the comments. I'm actually very interested, and this thing seems to me just the top will be in subsequent versions if it hasn't been finalized yet. And if it is finalized, then we just don't know about it. Next, let's look at the plates that you can also knock out here. This is a record of Swordland, and it also seems to me that there is some kind of anim music there, I don't know which one. If you're fumbling, I just don't look, then be sure to write. Let's turn on the first record now, I hope they won't throw it to me somewhere for 5 seconds. In general, yes, that's the kind of music here, and let's listen to the second one. As if some kind of game or anim, I do not know honestly, be sure to write in the comments who knows. Most likely, he did not invent it himself, but took it from some cartoon or game. And finally, let's also look at all these accessories of ours, which are generally considered not functional, but simply decorative. That is, costume jewelry. So the first one is fox ears. They look like this. Yes, in general, there is nothing to comment on here. Then, there is a kitsune mask of some kind of kitsune. In general, it's some kind of cat, apparently. Or a cat. Then let's watch The Sims. Well, Sims, I think you all know, this is such a game. Here we have this Simpson icon above our head. Then we put on a red scarf. By the way, where does it go? On the body? Interesting. And in this, we have a real beautiful scarf. I think it can be used somewhere in the filming of films. Then there are glasses. And here we have these, and also some more fashionable ones, let's say. That's what they look like. The penultimate one is the Super Crown. Yes, it's certainly not voluminous. It's so 2 dash. It's pretty funny but it's cool. And finally, the last one. It's a mask. Just a mask, whose I don't know, maybe also from some anim, because in general, Botania itself is tied to some anim. Honestly, I don't know which one. Be sure to write in the comments. Well, in general, this is all the content that this add-on adds. Agree very cool. Well, there was a potato with you. Be sure to subscribe, like, write comments, and also click on the bell so as not to miss new videos. Good luck to everyone.